video on soap bubble photography. So in 2011 to 2013, I did a master's at Central St Martins in art and science. During my time on the master's, I mainly focused on bubbles, which was a really fun subject to choose. And I was looking at bubbles as a metaphor for the brevity of life, referencing art historical texts which looked at soap bubbles as a memento mori, so as a visual symbol for the fragility of life. I then looked into the idea of cosmic bubbles, looking at contemporary quantum physics and cosmology, looking at the universe as a bubble, and by that I mean a universe that is expanding, and also a bubble in terms of multiverse theory, where some physicists believe that the universe is like a bubble amongst a sea of cosmic foam. So it's a good metaphor for trying to understand parallel universes. I wanted to do this video because at the moment we're all in lockdown in the UK and this is something that you can do at home. So the first thing that you need is a bubble wand. I've got one from eBay out of a giant bubble making kit but I've also used a metal clothes hanger and bent it into shape which you can see in this photograph. Then you're going to need bubble liquid, so you can also get that from a toy shop, or you can make it yourself using dish soap and glycerin. Glycerin is something that you can get at the pharmacy as it's often used for coughs and colds. Glycerin is really helpful for making bubble formula as it sticks the little water molecules together and makes the bubble last for longer. You'll then need a big light, so I used a LED photography light, but I would actually recommend not using the LEDs, as in these photographs that you're going to see, you can see quite a bit of banding, and actually it would be better to not have that banding and just use a normal white light. So you can use a white photography light, or you could use a torch. Then you're going to need a black background, I use the back of a door, but you could use a piece of fabric, which is something that I've used before. If you're doing this on quite a small scale, you can also use a black piece of paper. I used a tripod to hold my bubble wand, but if you don't have a tripod, you can use something like a helping hand, or you could use sellotape and put it onto something like the back of a chair. If the bubble wand is able to stay still, it will make your life so much easier. <laughs> I originally started off with a tripod, but I found it much easier just to move around with my camera and find the most exciting parts of the soap bubble. I used an 18 to 55 millimeter lens, but if you wanted to take really detailed shots, then I'd suggest using a macro lens. And the last thing to say is that the bubbles are the most interesting when they're about to pop. If you like this video, consider joining my Patreon, which helps to support the making of these videos and also subscribe and like this video.